So how actually on the communication side our system is built is that the OVDHF we send the time critical data. Uh, we, uh, we can give you access back to your machinery and, uh, and, uh, and, and, and basically what you need to run the operations. Then we have an integrated cellular uh, that we use for building the network, but also offloading uh, all non-time critical data. So actually uh, our solution can offer both uh, the global real-time access to assets and data and huge amount of data uh, that is not real-time. So if I give you an example, that let's take a remote uh, monitoring of a propulsion system, for example. Normally, the propulsion is running here, and you might get every 15 minutes, for example, information that everything is good. No worries. Uh, then something happens here. Uh, the system starts sending data that we have an incident. The data goes real time to the, op uh, to the office, and you can start troubleshooting immediately. You can go back to the vessel while the vessel is uh, at Blue Sea, ask more data around that event, and make sure that when you make the port call, first of all, there is a real issue. You have the right people, right tools, and right spare parts at the same time uh, uh, on the right place. And then, uh, in the case that let's say that everything works uh, without problems, so you, uh, you just have this kind of a green flag, all good. But when you, go, uh, when you reach near shore, you can offload gigabytes of data for performance optimization, machine learning algorithms, whatever you want to use. So this combination what we have with a global real-time access to data and a big amount of the data in one solution uh, is actually quite unique.